Hello guys, welcome to the Red House Taipei, built in 1908 by architect Kondo Juro during Japanese occupation here in Taiwan. Considered as the oldest public market in the whole Taiwan. The building has two main sections and the first one is the octagon building. This building has a second floor theater that hosts regular live performances. Other than that, you will see lots of interesting shops inside, many items to choose from, lots of one-of-a-kind souvenir items you can find here. A bit pricey but quality wise it's worth spending your money just like this tote bag that costs 850 nt which is equivalent to almost 1500 pesos but the quality is really good this is a perfect place to purchase some authentic and original reminders of your taiwan trip because most of the products sold here are originally made by the artists selling their wares the building also has a tourist information counter with a friendly and helpful staff. The building also has a small area that houses some memorabilia from the old red house. From the old typewriter and camera to the different products formerly sold here up to the actual red brick used are displayed here. You can have this to get more information about this place. Now let's go to the second part of the Red House, the Cruciform Building. In here you will find this very cute and fun to watch mechanically moving wooden miniatures. A little expensive but it's very nice to have one of these souvenirs from Taiwan. From your favorite rides to your favorite animals to your favorite cartoon characters up to these nicely decorated live plants you will find it here. All are individually handcrafted carefully so these products can only be purchased here and not elsewhere. How I wish I could buy all of this because these items are such nice things for collection. More products are sold here like shirts and many other different apparels. Jackets, shirts, pants or even undergarments originally made in Taiwan. Variety of beautifully handcrafted stuffed toys for children. Jewelries and watches. And different kinds of Taiwanese herbal tea with pre-taste. Available from big packaging and sachets. They also sell different kinds of beverages here. and more Taiwan souvenirs. If I am going to compare the quality of products sold here to the products sold in some night markets and souvenir shops outside, here is a higher quality but a bit pricey. Of course, you get what you paid for. Outside the Red House, you will find some bars and cafes. Such a nice view outside, especially at night. Here you will see some tattoo artist shops and lots of LGBTQ pride boutiques selling different kinds of pride apparels from shirts to sleeveless to shorts, undergarments and some naughty products, they have it here. Pride collectibles and many more. If you're going to visit by night, you will see lots of contrasting colors from the city light to the solid redness of the bricks. More products are sold here, but I don't think I have the guts to wear this one. I think this one is okay. More shops like flower boutique, small restaurants, music record stores, and even salon. This place is also lined up with different bars, so you can do bar hopping here with your friends. The Red House is very easy to access adjacent to Simending Night Market and Simending MRT Station. So when you visit Taiwan, have an hour or two for the Red House. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.